Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Wednesday, the 15th day of February. It's National Gumdrop Day today. Heidi is like a big fan drops. of gumdrops. I am. National Wisconsin Day today and Singles Awareness Day. Now, I thought that was yesterday. So did I. I kept saying that all day yesterday, and apparently it's not. It's today. So I apologize. I thought yesterday was Singles Awareness Day. Uh, and I do have a guest joining me today, Fritz Coleman. For about four decades, he was the weatherman in Los Angeles at KNBC. And since then, uh, he he recently retired. He's been he's not been just sitting around doing nothing. He's been staying busy doing stand up comedy. He's got uh, an award he just recently won, the Humanitarian of the Year Award. All kinds of cool stuff. We're going to be chatting with him. And just my early chat with him, he seems like one heck of a nice guy. So I'm excited to visit with Fritz Coleman, our guest, on this Wednesday edition of the John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Three in four of us still feel an obligation to come to work when we have a cold, according to a survey. A cold? I'd probably still come to work. 57% would prefer us to just stay home, though, according to a survey of over 2,000 U.S. adults. Uh, most people feel like they need to just power through an illness, similar to the mindset before the pandemic. Yeah. Interestingly, though, when sick, 38% make it a point to come in just to prove to their colleagues and their boss that they're genuinely unwell. So they come in just so they get sent home. Well, top they don't reasons, want to be accused of lying. Yeah, they're like, I'm or, really sick. Yeah. Uh, top reasons for showing up sick include a fear of coworkers seeing them as unreliable yeah. and leaving people in the lurch. Simply having to do too much work to get caught up, 21% said they show up to demonstrate how dedicated they are, and 18% said they don't trust others to do their work properly. So, <laughs> And sadly, many people are probably afraid of being fired yeah, and being found that they're not necessarily needed. Yeah. That's why I'm always here. I don't want yeah. you guys to realize you don't need me at all. All right, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know workers get itchy feet around 18 months into a new job? Really? Yeah, a study of 5,000 employed adults found that's the average point when employees come to realize that, I got to see what else is out there. They start thinking about finding something new. 18 months is the average. Leading cause for those itchy feet, by the way, not being valued for their uh, contributions where they are. Feeling like they're underpaid or deteriorating work conditions. 18%, by the way, said they experienced job doubt when they found themselves working too many hours. Workers reported that once they start feeling frustrated, they start to look for new work. On average, within four months, and they typically took just over three months to land the new position. So there you go. We don't know. Oh, you know what? By the way, I wanted to say, I know some people are going through that exact thing right now. And I would say this as an employer, take good care of the people that work with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. If it you've got a good so, employee. Oh, it is so much harder to find somebody new. Yeah. So just take good care of the ones that are there. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Would we call it sex files instead of X-Files? Jillian Anderson is inviting people to write letters detailing their wildest fantasies for her new book. What? Uh Uh-huh, I don't know. It's uh, Yikes. I don't know. She was in the X-Files, and she's going to do a a, a book about naughty stuff, apparently. Okay. Austin Butler said he's trying to lose that Elvis accent. He developed it to play the king in rock and roll. Uh, I bet that would be tough to... He said, couldn't seem to shake it during the press tour. He was on a program, (laughs) the Graham Norton Show. He said, uh, 
It's taken a toll on him. I bet. Said, I'm trying to get rid of the accent, but I've probably damaged my vocal cords with all that singing. So uh, anyway, uh, he say he's still not trying, but he's still sounding like Elvis everywhere he goes. <laughs> and Netflix is headed back to Point Place for more of that 90s show. There's a spinoff of that 70s show that came out back in January. Season one premiered January 19th. They've already got a green light for 16 episodes for season two. And uh, so far, 41 million viewers have watched that. I saw part of that online, and um, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis nice. came back on that episode. It was it was really cute. Really cool. It's on Netflix if you'd like to see it. All of the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. What a cool story here. This was almost my good news, by the way. Okay. A five-year-old girl's act of generosity was rewarded in a big way. 13 years later, Juliette Lamour won Ontario's second largest lottery jackpot in history, $48 million. Wow. Local reporters in her home city of uh, Salt St. Marie revealed a touching side story. When Juliet was five, the island nation of Haiti had just been ravaged by an earthquake. Right. At the local arena, the Canadian Red Cross had set up a table to help raise money, and Juliet and her sister Sophie were determined to help. They emptied out their piggy bank, and they had a Aww. big piggy bank, $61.38. Wow. And earlier this month, she stepped forward as a young woman to claim the $48 million prize, and it was the first time she'd ever bought a ticket. Wow. <laughs> she had to call her grandfather to find out what flavor of ice cream he wanted her to pick up. And he said, uh, hey, you just turned 18. You should get a lottery ticket. Test your luck. Wow. <laughs> How cool is that? That's I bet she's, insane. I bet she's really, glad she, really, really glad she called grandpa uh, to find out what <laughs> ice cream he liked. <laughs> and uh, the, the first ever Monopoly board game went on sale it was, uh, I think it's actually last week. I think I had this for a while. Uh, last week in 1935. So that's been around a long time. Okay. And it was last week in 1935. Families started fighting over the first game of Monopoly. It, so. is, it is a problem. <laughs> and uh, one fun fact here before we get to our fun facts that are coming up. Studies have shown that eating food without preservatives can improve your IQ score by up to 14%. Really? Yeah, that's the problem with me. I have a lot of foods with preservatives. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my IQ score is a negative number now. So not good. All right. Thanks for listening to the Scoop of the Day on The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday. Our guest today, Fritz Coleman, is a weatherman, and he's a comedian, and the humanitarian of the year. How are you, sir? Hey, it's great to talk to you, John. How are you? I am fantastic, and congratulations on recently being honored as the humanitarian of the year from the Red Cross. What an honor. Well, it was uh, an honor from uh, the House of Representatives for volunteer work I do for the Red Cross in Southern California. It was a great honor. Uh, I mean... Uh, you're in broadcasting, and, and truthfully, some of the most meaningful work you can do is being invited to help with nonprofit uh, organizations. And it was always something that really gave my job a lot of quality. Uh, I'm retired from being a weatherman. I was a weatherman for 40 years in Los Angeles. But uh, uh, singly, the most satisfying part of it was doing community outreach work. And spending over 40 years as a weatherman in Los Angeles, you were on the television every day in people's homes. So they got to see you every single day. Even if you didn't see them, you still built quite a bond with people. That's a really excellent point. The only cachet you have as a local newscaster, sportscaster, anchor, sports guy, whatever, is 
that you work your way into people's homes. For 40 years on, on the 5 o'clock news, I was on at the same time every day, 5.18, for three minutes. And what you do is you become part of the continuity of people's lives. And truthfully, I know it sounds weird and it's counterintuitive, but even if they don't particularly like you, when they see you regularly on their t- news, they understand that their life continues. Uh-oh, Fritz is there. He's wearing a different sport coat from yesterday, but my life continues because the regularity of my life is there. It's like a... It's like an alarm clock that goes off every day at the same time. So you're absolutely right. The cachet you build, the value you build is, is your regularity in people's homes. And the longer you're in a marketplace, uh, the more you become familiar to people. And in addition to being a weatherman in Los Angeles, you're also a stand-up comic. So which came first, stand-up comedy or being a weatherman? I was a comedian before a weatherman. I was hired to do the weather as I was doing stand-up at the comedy store on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. It's a very odd story. Real licensed meteorologists hate this story, but I'll tell you the truth. I was what's called a paid regular at the comedy store. I was doing two or three spots a week at the comedy store. And my friend that worked at NBC brought his boss to see me perform. And I talked on stage about having worked for Armed Forces Radio and Television when I was in the Navy. And when I had that job, I was forced to do the weather against my will, and I didn't know anything about it. And I made a mildly amusing anecdote about that. And after the show was over, I went back to introduce myself to this news director from Channel 4, the NBC affiliate in Los Angeles. And he said, this is a very odd question, but do you have any desire to come and do some vacation fill-in weather for me? We we need some help on weekends. We need some vacation relief help. I said, you do know that I'm not a real weatherman. I, I don't know anything about weather. He said, fantastic. In Los Angeles, there's no weather. This will work out great because between April and October, the weather is morning clouds and fog, hazy afternoon sun. So I said, of course I'll do it. I was making $35 a night at the comedy store. I said, when do you want me to start? So he said, you have to audition. So I auditioned. I got the weekend fill-in job. Two years later, my predecessor left and I was bumped up to the main job, and I retired about two weeks shy of my 40th anniversary at NBC. I love that. That is fantastic. I always tell people, it's the greatest stroke of luck in show business since that woman was discovered at Schwab's Pharmacy. And even though you retired, you're not done working. MediaPathPodcast.com, I'm seeing right here, you're doing a fun program. Tell me a little bit about the program. What do you do? So we do a wide variety of um, pop culture uh, folks and... uh, people from TV shows in the past. It's a wide range of things. And just having a blast. I, I, I'm relatively new to this uh, venue, the, the podcasting venue, but I'm having so much fun. I love having conversations about things I don't know anything about, and I learned something, and that's what this turns out to be for me. That's great. And how long is the program? It's about an hour. If we're cooking, we'll go an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half. We, don't, we, we like to draw to a natural conclusion. As you know, interviewing people... It all depends on the energy of the interviewee and whether we can sustain an hour, but it's about an hour. Well, it sounds like a whole lot of fun, and you've been a lot of fun to visit with as well. Fritz, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate the chance to talk about it, John. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. Again, our guest today, Fritz Coleman, a comedian, former weatherman in Los Angeles, and the humanitarian of the year. In addition to doing this new fun program, you can find it at mediapathpodcast.com, and I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at John and HeidiShow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The mathematical symbol for division has a name. It's called the oblius. O-B-E-L-U-S. Oblius. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The brightest star in the sky, Sirius, gives off 26 times more light than the sun. Are you serious? Yeah, I am serious. And don't call me serious. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, 26 times more light than the sun. It's just further away. That's why it's not, you know, brighter than the sun. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In ancient Greece, comets were called hairy stars. (laughs) Hairy stars. Yeah, because they saw the little hair coming off the back of it. It was a tail. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Alaska has a longer coastline than all of the other 49 U.S. states put together. Alaska does. Huh. 
Yeah. It's a lot of coastline. Well, it is the largest island. It is an island. <laughs> Heidi thought Alaska was an island. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Shoes that were specific to left and right were not made until the United States Civil War. Up until that time, you just put on you your shoes. You just put them on. It didn't there matter. was no left. There was no right. Interesting. Yeah. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Heidi, here's a question for you. About 35% of us will go throughout life without ever having one of these. What are they? I'm not one of these people, by the way. I had these. A migraine. No. Wisdom teeth. Yeah. Oh. 35% of people never have wisdom teeth. I yeah, had four. Yeah, I had, I had and four. And all yanked out. And I didn't realize how, hard, how, how bad that was going to hurt. Had them all done at once. Uh, it was not the smartest thing I've ever done. And then I drove home, which I probably shouldn't have. Yeah. All right. Mint, uh, Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. New range of garnish clothing claims to hide you from surveillance cameras. Knitted garments, uh they're tech derived patterns that fool AI into thinking the wearer is an animal. Italian fashion tech startup Cape Able describes their line as wearable algorithm to protect our identity. It uses a technology system capable of transporting, I'm sorry, transposing images onto a knitted fabric that can be used to deceive so-called people detectors in real time. So wearing an item from their clothing, one of the images is woven, can protect the biometric data of a person's face, making the individual indetectable or causing them to be associated with an incorrect category, like a dog or a zebra or a giraffe. The garments are on sale for $311 for a t-shirt. Sweaters are $450, and bottoms are $300. I've got a link. i got a link if you want to see how silly these things look. You must really not want to be recognized. I don't know. It just seems really odd to me. I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes. They they don't look good at all either, by the way. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com, one of Heidi's favorite lists. Questions plaguing humanity. <laughs> oh, how I love this. Yeah, okay, like this one. Why do I always ask babies and pets the same question twice? Aren't you the cutest thing? Uh, Aren't you yeah, a cutie? I do that. Yeah, I know you yeah. do that. Uh, like this one. Why does one recite at a play, but play at a recital? Ah, uh, see? Okay. Why is it people will buy anything that's one per customer? <laughs> <laughs> you, and whatever it is, you just put one per customer and everybody wants it. Uh, how about this one? Is cheese the plural of choose? It's not, but it kind of sounds like it. No. How about this one? How can the weather be hot as hell one day and cold as hell the next day? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it. Yeah, and that's I've heard people somehow say somehow apparently possible. And finally, on the list of questions plaguing humanity. Why is it that if you tell your boss you're late for work because you had a flat tire, the next day you will get a flat tire? <laughs> because if you lie, yeah, exactly. karma will rear its ugly yeah, head. We'll go with that. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com.
Time now for the quote of the day. Comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Thomas Lansing Mason, who said, Be yourself is about the worst advice you can give to some people. <laughs> Depending on who you're talking to, that That's is correct. Very true. Yeah, I, I've actually I've seen people give that advice and then change that advice. <laughs> like the person's going on a first date, yeah, they're like, hey, maybe calm just down. Just be yourself. To... You know what? On second thought, do not be yourself. <laughs> be anybody but yourself on this date. Uh... <laughs> All right. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's a headline. God really watched over me. Hero sprints across the highway to save a driver in distress. This is amazing. Massachusetts man being hailed as a hero after he sprinted across four lanes of a highway to help a driver. Wow. Yeah. Aldolfo Malando Burgos, and I hope I said that right. He's a hero. No, he was the driver, rather. He was driving on Interstate 93 with a friend to pick somebody up at, uh, at the airport in Boston. And he spotted a blue car dangerously crossing lanes. The driver was unconscious behind the oh, wheel. Oh, my gosh. He said, I realized the woman was unconscious and dizzy. Uh, and just kind of bumping into the wall. He immediately pulled his truck over and ran across the highway to help. Oh, my gosh. Once he caught up with the car, he realized the passenger door was locked. Eventually, another driver was able to help bring the vehicle to a stop. He said, we started pushing the car towards the railing on the side so it wouldn't go back out onto the highway and cause an accident. The car eventually came to a stop. First responders arrived soon after and took the driver to a nearby hospital. Wow. When he returned home, he fell asleep for a couple of hours, unaware that hundreds of thousands of people were watching what he had done. Another motorist filmed the entire heroic deed and uploaded it to TikTok, and the video immediately went viral. When asked by local news about risking his own life to save a stranger, he just said, I felt protected in that moment. Isn't said, that cool? I think I it was something that. from God because I didn't even see any of the other cars during that time. Wow. He said, I really think God watched over me. And if you'd like to see the video, I do have a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. I love that story, by the way. I do, Isn't too. That's greatest? fantastic. Every once in a while, I kind of wonder, what would I do in a situation like that? And I hope that I would do what he did. But I've never been in the situation, thank goodness. Well, if but, you felt no yeah, fear, exactly. I mean, you, you're... I would you, hope that I would do exactly that, because yeah. that was the right thing to do. That's right. so great. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.